In this video, I'll briefly and clearly highlight the must-watch Skyrim mods for the fourth week of July 2024. I'm thrilled to have finally found an armor mod that I love after a long time. It's the Vindicator Armor. This mod adds a semi-immersive, highly modular plate armor to Skyrim, featuring chainmail and cloth underneath the plate, all connected with leather straps. It supports Himbo Body Slide, making it usable for male characters and offers high-resolution texture options ranging from 2K to 8K. The helmet is adorned with floral decorations, making it perfect for players who prefer not to cover their character's face. If you enjoy plate armor, you should definitely give this one a try. The FB Sentinel Knight Armor is also noteworthy. This legendary knight armor set is designed for female characters in Skyrim and comes in various materials and colors. It includes a unique sword and headpiece, and while the overall design is reminiscent of Elven style, it supports a total of four color variations. Additionally, it is compatible with various body mods such as 3BA, CBBE, and BHUNP. Compared to the previously introduced armor, it has a sleeker feel and pairs well with one-handed swords or rapiers. This time, it's an animation mod. And the first mod I want to introduce is the DNFA Wolves Combat Behavior. This mod enhances the combat behavior of wolves and deathhounds in Skyrim. It adds continuous attack sequences and evasive maneuvers to the wolves' behavior. By utilizing the Scar mod, wolves can chain their attacks. And with the addition of evasive actions, they can dodge the player's attacks. Furthermore, the AMR mod allows wolves to move during animations. This mod makes combat in Skyrim more realistic and challenging. If you're looking for a new experience in battles with wolves, give this mod a try. Next up is the Draugr One-Handed Movement mod. This mod improves the movement of Draugr when using one-handed weapons by lowering the weapon, making their animations for walking and running more natural and immersive. It works even better when used alongside Coronado's Draugr One-Handed Attack animation mod and it also complements the Draugr motions in Ultimate Combat, providing a more seamless Draugr combat experience. Although this mod was uploaded on March 23rd, I only recently discovered it and am excited to share it with you now. Next up is the Draugr Greatsword Animation Mod. This mod enhances the Greatsword attack animations for Draugr, adding a total of four new attack animations to make combat more dynamic. The attack motions, such as swinging the greatsword from right to left or from top to bottom, are more dynamic and natural, created by the same modder as the previously introduced mod. The animation frames are well-crafted, ensuring smooth and natural attack motions. This allows you to experience a new level of combat when facing Draugr. In this segment, I will introduce three hidden gem mods. I recently added these to my mod list to enhance my gameplay experience. First up is Immersive Backpacks. This mod allows you to use backpacks in Skyrim as actual containers, enabling you to put items in and take them out. You can drop and activate the backpack to store and retrieve items. It uses the SKSE plugin Containerize, ensuring 100% compatibility without needing an ESP file. Additionally, this mod is compatible with various other backpack mods, such as Adventurer's Magic Backpack. Its simple design ensures seamless integration, making it the first mod I want to introduce. Next up is the Pause Menu After Load Screens mod. This mod provides the functionality to completely pause the game after loading screens in Skyrim. While there are several mods of this type, this one stands out by displaying a separate, game-paused screen, making it more visible. After the loading screen ends, the pause screen automatically closes, Welcome and the, the game resumes college. as soon as I'm any key master. is pressed. Oh. This feature helps you avoid situations where you might be attacked and killed immediately after reloading, and it prevents the game from progressing automatically after the loading screen, allowing you to resume the game when you're ready. The mod supports controller, mouse, and okay. keyboard inputs, Something and works with both SE and AE versions. Next up is Wanderer's Heart. This mod allows players to purchase a ship, sail the seas, and become a pirate, raiding other ships. 
It offers a classic RPG-style exploration of the ocean, enabling travel between cities like Solitude and Windhelm. Players can experience the thrill of piracy by raiding other ships. The mod features a real-time minigame format, where players can monitor the movements of their ship and others, allowing them to invade other ships or travel to different cities. If you find fast travel unappealing but think simply walking around is a bit dull, this mod provides a more dynamic way to explore the world of Skyrim while expanding your content options. Next up is Lossless Scaling. This isn't a mod, but a program that enhances performance by generating frames in real time. It analyzes the game screen and inserts additional frames between the original ones, increasing the frame rate. For example, it can boost a game running at 30 FPS to over 60 FPS. Although it's a paid program on Steam, it's quite affordable and worth the purchase. In my case, it significantly reduced stuttering and greatly improved the gaming environment. Moreover, lossless scaling can be applied not only to games, but also to video streaming services like YouTube and Netflix. In this segment, I will introduce some NPC-related mods. First, the female NPCs as Bandits mod caught my attention. This mod replaces all bandits in the game with named female NPCs, significantly improving the appearance of female bandits. A similar mod is the Amazoness mod, which adds new female humanoid enemies called Amazoness. However, unlike the Amazons mod, this mod replaces the appearance of existing female bandits with named female NPCs. This allows you to naturally change the appearance of bandits without additional steps using your favorite female NPC replacer mods. The appearance of bandits will vary depending on the female NPC replacer you use, allowing you to experience a fresher Skyrim with new bandit NPCs. Next up is the Serana Dialogue expansion. Actually, yes. This mod expands Serana's dialogue you to in Skyrim's since, Dawnguard you know, questline, and also includes request. her in the main quest I know and Dragonborn questline. So the mod the makes Serana feel like a part of Skyrim's major quests so and adds several additional lines Relax, during the Dawnguard questline. So with these it. added dialogues, the we your relationship with Serana can develop okay, further, making her feel like a more lively and immersive companion right through the mod. But instead they went out of their way to travel north and then back south. Next up is the follower dialogue expansion Isolde. This mod transforms the existing huh? Skyrim character Isolde into a fully-fledged follower. It adds 172 immersive and lore-friendly lines of dialogue to Isolde, making her more lively and engaging. She can recognize various quests and respond with appropriate dialogue. There will always be more ancient relics in our travels. Expanding her backstory and adding depth to her character. My ma and da wanted me to go to the College of Winterhold and earn my place in academia. Additionally, the mod includes awareness of various locations such as cities and dungeons. Improving right, Isolde's idea. AI. I highly recommend installing it to enhance your gameplay experience. This time, I'd like to introduce some update-related mods. First up is the Draugr Spear Animation mod. This mod adds new animations for Draugr when they use spears in Skyrim, and it has significantly improved the animations in this update. Although the spear attack motions are now slower, they appear heavier and more powerful. If you've previously modded Draugr to use spears through animated armory, this mod will help distinguish their spear attack motions from greatswords, making Draugr combat styles more diverse and interesting. Next up is Dynamic Sprint Stop 2.1. This mod adds a sliding motion when stopping after sprinting. It has been improved in this version to properly play stop sounds when spells or bows are equipped, which was not working in the previous version. Since many players use this mod, make sure to update it to experience a more dynamic sprint. Thank you for watching today's video, featuring the must-have new Skyrim mods for the fourth week of July 2024. If you found these mods exciting and helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel Smash that like button and enable notifications to stay updated with our latest uploads. Make sure to grab these fantastic mods to elevate your Skyrim gameplay to new heights. Stay tuned for more awesome content. And until next time, 
Happy modding and happy adventuring. <laughs>